Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Borderwise, and welcome back to From the Depths Most Wanted. And this is a muchly requested video, or at least a number of people have asked me, like, when are you going to talk about the new Flying Squirrel? When are you going to talk about the new Flying Squirrel? You should talk about the new Flying Squirrel. So here it is, the deep water godly craft of legend and yore and myth, uh, the Flying Squirrel, the new version. I am starting to feel sick because um, this thing drives like crazy. So for those of you who don't know, along with the Great Plasma update, a whole bunch of uh, neater vehicles were updated, including the venerable Flying Squirrel, uh, which I think rose to infamy in the From Devs community. Ooh, that was close. Um, uh, thanks to the YouTuber Robas, who years ago almost got his flagship destroyed by just one of these things. Admittedly, it was a long, long time ago, um, back when, like, th you know, there weren't really effective counters to things that drove like crazy, or at least Robas didn't know them at the time. Uh, but anyway, this thing's a pain in the ass, and the new version is even more a pain in the ass. So, what are we dealing with here? Uh, much like the old Flying Squirrel, it drives like crazy, except this really drives like crazy. You can see in the background uh, the other two mem members of the squadron, because, like, yeah, this spawns in squadrons of three now. So each one is about... let's have a look here. So what's 115 divided by three? I don't know. Probably, uh, probably something... hold on, let's see. Individually, they're not... Incredibly expensive. It's actually quite expensive uh, for a uh, for a little aircraft like this, like about forty thousand materials. But um, yeah, they drive like crazy. They don't have active defenses because they kind of don't need them. You're pretty much never gonna hit these with missiles, and I've tried. Goodness knows the old one was hard enough to hit with missiles or anything else. Uh, this is next level, and it has. Uh, weaponry. So let's go here, let's have a look. It's a medium uh, thing, so radar guided explosive missiles on the end. Uh, no biggie, like... And then, but uh, it has bombs. So these are large uh, gantries, APN guidance, explosive warheads, uh, variable thrusters, and well, I guess rockets is a bit of a... is a more accurate way to describe these things. But yeah, they make a huge mess of uh, anything. Let's find something that is... Let's go... What should we go bully? Let's try a halberd. Let's see if the halberd can take these down. The halberd is an anti-air vehicle, so it should manage. Uh, also, because that thing... Uh, they're powered by propellers now. Uh, they... They do get themselves out of the water very nicely. And yeah, these things just hit very hard. Wham. So when they... Oh, wow, yeah, this halberd's getting absolutely trolled. And you can see, because these little bastards uh, jink and jive and dip up and down like this... Oh, they do have flares. Um, whoops, you did get hit there. <laughs> ha ha ha. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter. There's three of them, and they can keep flying even when, um, even when they're pretty badly damaged, actually. So yeah, uh, that's basically the strengths of the Flying Squirrel. Uh, they drive like crazy. Uh, they're packing large missiles in a package that's quite small and reasonably cheap. So yeah, they will absolutely wreck uh, your steez uh, if you're not expecting them. Halberd is technically winning though because, uh, well, not anymore by the looks of it to see whether the squirrel... Nope. Well, the halibut just demonstrated how to kill them. Uh, this might be a godly class design, but it is still a deep water god uh, godly class design. And so, as for how to kill it, well, halibut's already demonstrating that. Is uh, If you've got timed frag, you can do it just fine. But in particular, uh, if you take nothing else away from this, uh, lasers are what you use uh, to deal with this thing. Um, or two axis packs, it's fine. Uh, let's see, where do we want Flying Squirrel? So, yeah. And let us spawn in our little ship here. Laser Stone Gazelle. We're just going to do that. Uh, hopefully this thing doesn't get hit in the turret. So this is just a Hydrofall I made for fun. I don't expect to ever use it. But, um, 
Yeah, so uh, a decent two-axis laser. Um, well, you, it doesn't get missed. Well, it doesn't get missed. What am I saying? So yeah, the, um, arguably this could be done a lot better because you would have noticed there's no signal processes on... Um, on the uh, on the missiles of the flying squirrel, which means that uh, distraction flares actually work pretty well, or at least they should. Let's test that. Let's test that. Let's go over here and let's spawn in something a little bit. Let's do one. Of... Wow, I've run out of actual ships. Uh, let's do let's do a Caravonian Hydro. Why not? Caravonian Hydro is fun. And let's spawn in another Flying Squirrel Squadron. So the Caravonian Hydro has distraction missiles, so hopefully that means we get to see these things. Yep, so if you bring along decent missile defense, uh, you are pretty much going to pull um, the entire missile volley off the squirrel. Uh, away from you, and that'll be absolutely fan dabby dozy We do, however, have trouble uh, hitting the damn thing, and annoying though, those medium missiles actually reload decently quick. Also, I guess having them collide with each other is, uh, quite nice. Whee! So there you have it, Flying Squirrel. This is definitely one of those craft that if you're not ready for it, you are going to have a really bad time. If you're a new player and uh, you're trying to beat the uh, Nita campaign using only wooden boats uh, armed with cram cannons or even APS, uh, you're going you're gonna to have a rough time of it. But uh, if you remember to bring along timed frag or flak or lasers or particle cannons or something like that, and uh, if you bring just, you know, basic missile defense along, you're actually fine. So this is like, it's not the worst thing to run into. There's worse things. Like, uh, if we just look at the lineup here, uh, the crossbones is terrifying to run into. Uh, the albacore is certainly much worse. And there's the tarpon. So I'll just spawn these in like so, so you can see uh, the, hydro the, uh, the Caravonian Hydro get uh, Tyrannosaurus Shrek'd by them, because it will. So yeah, that's the Flying Squirrel. It is much scarier than the old one, but uh, if you just remember that lasers are a good idea, why is this lagging so badly? Oh dear. Oh, poor Hydro. Poor Hydro. We. Oh wow, this squirrel's having... This squirrel is having issues. Oh no, it lost an eye. There's over a hundred decorations on this thing, by the way. Uh, so yeah, well done, uh, the team. There's a whole bunch of people who worked on this. Uh, people who did bread, uh, rolling chair. I have no idea how much, uh, who did what on here, but I think good job, guys. This is one of, definitely one of those things that, like, it's a cheap, godly, if it'll come out of nowhere, it'll ruin your life, so... I feel sick. I feel very sick. Let's not, let's not, let's not. Let's not, let's not. Let's spawn in some squirrels. So that about does it for this most wanted. This is a little bit disjointed. This one is completely unscripted because if nothing else, you know, just laser the little bugger and you'll be absolutely fine. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon or YouTube membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time. In from the depths, most wanted. Farewell. I'm gonna go throw up now.